Joining us now is Scott Shelley, Senior Vice President of TJM Investments. Scott, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? All right. Uh, we will start with the uh, grain markets. Uh, how are they looking this morning? Well, it seems like I always get the job of trying to turn a pig's ear into a purse. Uh, yesterday wasn't too good. We had the overnight uh, USDA numbers come out, and corn improved a, a little bit. Beans were unchanged. So this morning's markets, we've got a little bit of a bounce in beans, given, you know, taking back some of the stuff they lost yesterday. Beans are up 10 to 12. Wheat up about 4 to 5, and corn 1 to 2. Uh, but we took, uh, we took it on the chin yesterday pretty, pretty good in that corn market and that bean market. Uh, got in, got feeling as we head through the next few weeks, uh, the next few months. What, how do you feel the market is going to change over the next uh, couple of weeks? Well, you know, I'm not Svengali, but I, I, I said on Friday uh, on another show I was on, the, I am a natural contrarian, and I just kind of feel like um, things are probably a little bit better out there than we think they are because we only hear the anecdotally negative evidence, and there's a lot of guys that have higher ground that in drier years don't yield very much, but they're going to do pretty well. So uh, the proof will be in the pudding towards the end of the year, but I, I think things are going to end up being okay. If the dollar stays strong, that's going to be a headwind. And, you know, I think that we're slipping into a deflationary cycle globally here with a lot of commodities kind of hitting new cycle lows. So things to kind of keep, uh, keep an eye on. Uh, switching gears here, livestock markets, how have they been trending? Well, they, they uh, you know, it's hard to get off from underneath, the, you know, that same brush. So also I, I would say it's very interesting. Our volumes have been very, very low, both in, in livestock and in, in the ag. So a lot of times when that happens, we don't see uh, big sell-offs because we need to see some good volumes to have that happen. But uh, I think uh, going forward, I'm still supportive because I do believe that the weather in the West affects uh, the cattle market. pretty, And I think that ultimately that will be, uh, give us a base, and, and we'll be, we'll, we won't see the, the plunges that we saw in the uh, in the grain markets over in the uh, hog and cattle markets. Uh, we're a little short on time. That is all of my questions. Anything else you'd like to add that maybe we didn't talk about? Well, you know what? We can't get out from underneath the fact that this Chinese stock market was off 8.5% on Sunday night, and last night it was off 3.5% before it recovered to be only off 1.5%. There's a lot of stuff going over there. They're a big customer of ours. That is really the big bull in the China shop right now. We can't really talk about commodities unless we talk about the big C, China. All right, sounds good. Scott, thanks for your time this morning. All right, thank you. All right, once again, that was Scott Shelley, Senior Vice President with TJM Investments. Stay with us. Coming up after the break, one last look at your weather and a sneak peek at what's coming up on the Valley Today.